Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a short beach sarong. For this one, I started by folding it directly in half, right where the tag is, and I tried to smooth it out the best that I could. On this particular material, the edges roll up, so it was really frustrating for me. Just do the best you can to even it out. You see what I mean? After working with it for like five minutes, this was the best I could do. It just wouldn't lay completely flat. Next, you wanna decide where you want the center of your spiral to be and give it a little pinch. And as usual, I'm using the microwave splatter guard that I got from Amazon. And I do have a link for it down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie dye. So make sure you check that out. And then I'm using a hemostat that I clicked down on the first click. It does not need to be overly tight. I gave it a couple of twists and then using my opposite hand, I create the spiral. And I go as far as I can using the splatter guard until I just can't go any farther. And then I will unclick the hemostat, hold down the center of the spiral and gently wiggle the hemostat out. This spiral is pretty small, so I'm going to be using my second favorite rubber bands to secure it. You could also use kite string if you'd like. It's just really a matter of preference, but I like to use rubber bands as often as possible. I just find them to be really quick and easy. Now what I'm doing is I'm tightening up my spiral. So I will go around and around, pulling on all of the loose tails, tucking them into the nearest rubber band. You wanna create a nice tight spiral. That way, if you have to pick it up and move it or flip it over or anything like that, it's not going to fall apart on you. Taking those few extra minutes to work on your spiral really pays off in the end. Notice how this beautiful, perfect spiral is beginning to emerge. For this project, I'm trying to match the swimsuit. So I pulled out my bag of tricks, that way I could decide which shade of red best suits the swimsuit, and I decided on scarlet. It almost disappears into the swimsuit, so I figured that was the best shade. And then I just wanted to find complementary colors. And I'm making it for a person that doesn't like the hot colors, only cool tones. So I figured purple would probably be the best bet. Plus I've always liked red and purple together. And then I just mark out my pattern using a washable marker. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And I'm keeping this one very simple. Three colors with six lines. So I'm adding my dye in the pieces of the pie and I'm just going to be putting them directly across from each other. So you may have noticed that I have the spiral sitting down inside of a bowl. This method is called muck dyeing. And what muck dyeing is, is where you place ice on top of your dye and then you let the ice melt and you let your project just sit in that melted ice water. Now it can look really terrifying because that water is going to get dark and murky looking. It just has a magical way of working out. So don't panic. 
and you'll hear a lot of people say, set it and forget it. Now that's what I typically try to do. I find a good spot to set my project, somewhere nice and warm where it's 70 degrees or higher and just leave it alone. But if I have to pick it up and move it, that's fine too. You just don't necessarily want to go pick it up and shake it and slosh it. You can if you want to, but you might get a different outcome. And the muck dyeing is also going to create something similar to a black back. It's just going to create some pretty dark lines that runs throughout the project. It's a really fun thing to do and I think you should just try it. Don't be afraid of it because it really is like magic. It just has a way of becoming beautiful. Next, I give my project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and then I add my ice. And I add just enough ice to cover the project. You don't need to fill the bowl all the way up. Your project does not need to float in a lot of muck water. And then I place the bowl down inside of another container just in case if it's going to leak. And then you want to let your project batch for at least 24 hours. See what I mean about that muck water? It looks pretty scary, but don't be afraid. It really does work out. And then if you look at the back of the project, it's a little bit darker than the top, and that's what's going to create those pretty dark muck lines. It really will turn out pretty, I promise. So now it's time for the rinse out. And you want to start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric, and then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles it takes using Kirillon. And Kirillon is a professional textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And then I will do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener that I also get from Dharma. And the links are down below. Makes it really easy for you to find if you want to get some of those products. And then I'll put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our short beach sarong after it's been washed and dried and ironed and I think it turned out great. You see what I mean? Don't be afraid of muck dyeing. It really does work out. Now just Imagine if she had a matching beach bag. Just put it in your imagination. That one did go to Hawaii and it did not make its way back, so I wasn't able to photograph it. But the set looked great together. So this is what it looks like. This is the front and the back. And there aren't a lot of muck lines on this one. There are a little bit you can see in the red, but not a whole heck of a lot. And that's okay, I'm fine with it. Overall, I'm really pleased with the outcome. I think it looks really pretty. It ended up matching the swimsuit perfectly. So it's a win-win for me. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.